Hello, this is Nathaniel Frank, Corporate Project Manager for Myers Power Products. Today we're going to talk about shimming the carrier on the Leech Alpha and 2R3. The purpose of adjusting the carrier rollers is to provide for smooth upward and downward travel of the carrier and packer panel with a minimum of side travel. In essence, the rollers are adjusted to align the carrier panel to the carrier operating cylinder stroke position, and by shimming the rollers in a diagonal fashion, the carrier may be adjusted to allow for fabrication variances of the many components of the tailgate assembly. The rollers are to be adjusted by use of shims, Labrie Plus part number 100179, placed behind the roller on the spacer cap. This will allow the roller to be moved outward by the addition of shims or move inward by the subtraction of shims. Refer to Labrie Plus Technical Service Bulletin 14-06 for detailed information on this procedure along with several examples. We begin by operating the carrier and packer assembly at low idle, meaning no speed up engaged. Cycle the panel a few times to try to get an idea of where you're seeing the movement specifically. Here you'll see a slow motion example of the panel shifting. Careful and patient evaluation of the carrier panel in motion is the key to proper adjustment of the rollers. Continue by lowering the carrier panel in the down position. Note, for this clip we removed the access cover to show you the roller more clearly. As shown in this still image, you can see the small carrier roller access grease cap which pivots up to allow access to the grease circ. Continue by greasing each of the four rollers until grease is purging out the back. Operate the unit complete and verify if the shifting or pivot of lateral play is still present. If this play is causing movement of more than one quarter inch at the point of the rollers when the carrier operating cylinders are in the fully retracted or extended positions, then adjustment is necessary. Some movement of the carrier panel side to side during operation may be considered common. To remove the bottom rollers, you will need to affix a cherry picker or equivalent hoist with a minimum of a one ton capacity onto the packer panel lifting eye. Note, this is only to put gentle tension against the packer, therefore lifting the carrier so the rollers can slide out more easily. Continue by removing the carrier access roller covers for the affected rollers you're going to change the shimming on. Note, there's a special spacer washer utilized on the grease circ cover cap. Ensure this washer is present and set aside and accounted for during disassembly. Next, using a small pry bar or flat blade screwdriver, gently pry against the back of the roller. This will help aid in releasing the suction created on the shaft by the grease. At this point, the roller can be removed as shown. Here we see two images. The image on the left showing an assembled roller and the location of the shims, and on the right, a disassembled roller assembly. Once you've installed the desired number of shims, you can reinstall the roller and release the tension on the hoist. You can then continue by installing the roller access covers and greasing the assemblies. When replacing a roller at the top of the carrier, we must use a different lifting point to relieve tension from the carrier panel. This is done on either the left or right 
carrier lifting eyelet. It is highly recommended that a minimum of a one-ton hoist is used. The procedure is identical, aside from utilizing a different lifting point. Thank you for watching this Labrie how-to video.